this was kind of just a fun, appropriate look for the interview. We wanted to feel close to you. Well, it's just so fortuitous that I felt the same way. I know. It's I, know. It's like, I wish we had that moment when we all saw each other this morning on I tape. I, it was Wouldn't really exciting. Great? It was like showing up to camp and seeing all the other girls in the uniform and being like, it's time, ladies. <laughs> I just got out of the elevator and there you were. There you were. And there were oh, trolleys just, everywhere. I know. I just and like we to all mix just it up yelled. a little with this Gaga bra. I Well, because you... Uh, your bra's on the west coast. My bra's on the west coast, my pants are on the east, and that is a metaphor for my life. <laughs> So guys, can you tell me a little bit about Lenny? Like, let's say we were waiting for our Ubers. Mm -hmm. This is like the Chris Saka pitch. And mine was gonna be here in two minutes, and I needed to know why I need to sign up for Lenny Letter. What would you say to me? Well, besides having extreme panic, because <laughs> her Ubers are coming so fast and we have no time. My Uber never comes that fast. Um, I would say that we are looking for uh, a fun, feminist, snark-free place on the internet that can be a really positive place, but also a really funny place and a really informative place where you actually want to take the information and apply it to how you vote, think, live, dress, feel. And you decided that it would be a newsletter as opposed to a website because... There's a logistical reason behind it, which is that we are but two women, and we have an amazing staff working on this newsletter, but we really wanted to do something where we could maintain creative control the same way we have over girls, the same way we have over all the projects we've done through our production company, and so a limited amount of content that we really gave all our love to was what we needed in order to make it success to make it successfully remain in our tone and keep right. our intent. Yeah. And we like how kind of old school the idea of a newsletter is. Yeah, we're coming at you. Yeah. We're coming to your so, inbox. Yeah, that's kind of my thing with newsletters. I we've sort of started ramping up our newsletter about three months ago. Yeah. And for me it's very much like, okay, if you don't have time to come to manorpaller.com because that's what's happening, everyone's like, oh my God, desktop, nobody's listening to what we have to say on desktop anymore. Right. Then I will bring the content to you. Like, you don't have to do anything but check your email. I have obsessive compulsive disorder, something we've both been public about. And one of my biggest OCD things when I was younger was reading Us Weekly, and when a couple would break up, I would have to explain a perfect narrative to myself of what happened in their relationship, like starting from the moment it began to fracture to the moment that they said they weren't going to be together anymore. Because the tabloids weren't doing enough of that? Yeah, I felt like I needed to fill in the blanks, <laughs> and I needed to do it perfectly, and if there was a moment where my brain paused, I needed to start again. Incredible. So there's never been a more like pop-obsessed OCD tick. How does your OCD come out now? All the different ways. Sometimes we through some strange blinks and chest twitches. Okay. Yeah, there have been a blink. There's been a blink and a chest twitch. There's an incredible need to delete all my text messages the minute I've answered them, which is irritating for my friends and loved ones. Sometimes before you've answered them. Yep. And then I have to say, can you please resend that? Can you tell me a little bit about how you decided to do this together? We've been working together. For our six-year anniversary will be soon. Great. Right. Five. We're at a five and a half right now. I'm the timekeeper. <laughs> yes. What do you get someone for your sixth anniversary? I don't know what anniversary that is. I'll help you out. Gold, with that. diamonds, I think summer. enamel. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Right. So yeah, we've been working together for six years, and we've been working on television show Girls. We've we have a production company together, and after I went on my book tour, I came back from the book tour feeling invigorated. The midterm elections had just happened, so obviously I was angry. <laughs> and I said to Jenny, I feel like there's a space for a web presence that doesn't exist right now. And I sort of expected her to be like, we have enough stuff going on, will you just calm down? And she was totally in and began expanding on the idea. Yeah, I was like, you deserve more than 140 characters to say what you wanna say. We feel like we've been so lucky to have an opportunity to share our voice as much as we have over the past five years. And we felt like it would be a really amazing thing to have a space where that wasn't just for us, but that was for a range of women yeah. to, yeah. a range of women, or define that as you will, to express what they have to say. I was just in the edit meeting yesterday finalizing our first month and a half of content. I'm just excited because I feel like it really expresses the range of women and viewpoints and topics that Lenny represents while sort of maintaining a cohesive, like funny, but kind voice. Yeah. Does the world know about the future of girls? Think they we know think they that know. we only are doing one more year. We're ready to, uh, you know, send these girls off to the next phase of our life that doesn't include us filming them. And then after I this mean, year, 
are you going to focus more intently on Lenny, or are there other... Uh, no, we're doing right now, we're shooting a pilot with HBO mm -hmm. that hopefully, yeah. that's okay. about second wave feminism, that'll hopefully be a series. Yeah. We're working on a documentary about um, a tailor who makes suits for transgendered and gender non-conforming people. Our whole goal with our production company was we wanted to do something that was like pushing the ball forward on conversations about gender mm -hmm. in an amusing and enlightening way. And we've so far, you know, gotten the pleasure of beginning on a bunch of projects that we think and hope do that. You really are making very difficult conversations feel easy to have, right? That seems like a really important uh, like mode of communication that is exclusive to this millennial moment, right? Is like breaking down the really hard stuff and making it feel kind of simple. But then there's also the the issue of what happens when it starts to feel inauthentic. Because like, what's worse than getting a newsletter that says like, hey, good looking, I right? have a friend who started forwarding me from an unnamed clothing store emails that were like, happy Wednesday, sexy. And she would write back like, fuck you. And then forward it <laughs> oh, to God, me. Oh they're the worst, yeah. right? And or they'd be like having a having a fashionable Thursday, and she'd be like, "No, I'm not. My child vomited on me, and I'm lonely." And everyone's always telling me to sit down with a glass of wine, and I listen so frequently. And right. sometimes I just sit down. I'm like, I didn't even feel like drinking today. Yeah, I know, <laughs> and yet here I am. Yeah. You know, we've obviously there's been some scrutiny around girls at certain points. <laughs> it's just a just little, a little really? like just a tiny bit. But I just feel like it's so vanilla. It's like going to the ice cream shop and asking for vanilla with nothing on right. it. That show. It doesn't tackle <laughs> any <laughs> issues. <laughs> but we kind of are like, well, maybe if this is coming to your inbox every week, people will stop being scandalized. Give five reasons why everybody should sign up for Lenny. One reason is because it's like a best friend coming to your inbox every week to tell you all the great things that are going on and things you should think about and feel and wear. Another reason is because it represents a diverse range of voices and not just one kind of lady. Another reason is because it's real pretty. It like looks beautiful. We have a really good designer. I can't balance Another these reason shoes. is because every week you're going to read original personal essays and see original illustration. And can I give the final reason? Yeah. Because yeah. I think it's really similar to a lot of the man repeller ethos, which is that as a woman, we no longer have to feel like our interests in like fashion and other things minimize our intellect. That's 100% right. right. That yeah. is true. You're the best. To you're the revolution. Hero,